Hey, I'm Dorothy Cassisari. Tonight on Celebrity Corner, reality star Melissa Gorga from The Real Housewives of New Jersey shares with me her secret recipe for a happy marriage. Here's a hint, lots of sex. Rapper and entrepreneur 50 Cent tells me his fatherly advice for friend and new dad Kanye West. Also, cosmetic surgery procedures to look star perfect are getting more extreme every day. Ever hear of a vampire facial? Kim Kardashian did it. Now, why am I not shocked by that? We also have the latest in celebrity news and gossip, plus a giveaway from Zoya Nail Polish. Each show, I'll be wearing a new Zoya Nail Polish shade, and this week I chose this color, Rocky. Later in the show, I'll tell you how not 100, but 200 lucky viewers can win their very own bottle. Yes, 200. There has been such an overwhelming response from our viewers in weeks past that Zoya decided to increase that number. So let's get this party started. Cue the open. Discuss that and more is Dorothy Cassisari. Pay attention to every word Dorothy says. Hey, I'm Wayne Brady, and I'm here with the beautiful Dorothy Cassisari here on Celebrity Corner. Hi, I'm Dorothy Cassisari, and welcome to Celebrity Corner. We have a great show for you tonight on the 4th of July. Let's start with hot Hollywood headlines. Oh, yet more trouble for the Jackson clan. Just a few weeks ago, Paris Jackson was hospitalized after a suicide attempt, and now this. According to a report in London's Sunday People tabloid, Michael Jackson paid $35 million in hush money to cover up molestations of 24 boys. Documentation showing this was assembled by Michael Jackson's private eye, Anthony Pelicano, who was hired in the 80s to make sure the skeletons in Michael's closet stayed there. Well, it worked for a little bit. This could actually help Wade Robson's case, a choreographer who recently sued Michael Jackson's estate, alleging that he suffered seven years of abuse at the Neverland Ranch. According to TMZ, Robson has described a sex alarm Michael Jackson had in his bedroom that sounded off when anyone would come within 30 feet. Super creepy. All right, moving on. The Germans were not monkeying around when they seized Justin Bieber's pet capuchin monkey, Mally, in March. The Biebs failed to produce the required vaccination papers after arriving in Germany for a European tour. They gave him until the beginning of May to square everything up, but he didn't, so ownership of Mali was transferred to the German state. You better bet someone got fired for that. Now Mali is living in a zoo in northern Germany, and he spends his days hanging out with a photo of the Biebs and cuddling a stuffed animal. He actually lives in an area of the zoo nicknamed Malibu. <laughs> That's funny, because Malibu is one of Justin's favorite hangouts. He must always feel like he's at home. Justin can always buy another monkey, right? In other Bieber news, a rider obtained by TMZ from a recent photo shoot indicates some pretty big diva demands. First on the list, no Selena music on set, meaning Selena Gomez, meaning Justin's ex-girlfriend. Maybe that's his way of healing? Healing must also include snacking for Justin Bieber, because also on the rider, herbal teas, a large pack of Swedish fish, Ritz Bits peanut butter sandwiches, and two large packs of Haribo cola gummies. Can we say spoiled? All right, last but not least, a man was found by police on Rihanna's roof, and he has been sentenced to six days in jail and three years probation. If you find yourself on anyone's roof and it's not for the purpose of sunbathing, then you definitely have way too much time on your hands. What is it with these celebrity stalkers? I mean, Ashley Tisdale was just granted a restraining order for her stalker, who has not only threatened her, but has also tweeted her, ready for this, 18,000 times. And of course, we all remember Hugh Jackman's stalker, who asked him to marry her, creepy, and attacked him at his New York City gym. Time to get a hobby, people. What a week. Before we go to break, I want to share a clip with you from last week when I was invited to guest co-host an afternoon talk show in Connecticut on a CBS affiliate called Better Connecticut. In addition to promoting Celebrity Corner, I was put in the hot seat by the fab Scott Haney and asked about my upcoming nuptials and my fiance. Take a listen. We're just very, very compatible. He's, you know, he's like a protector, but he can also be sensitive too. Like when I taped my first show, Celebrity Corner, I came home and the apartment was dark. And I'm thinking, this guy's not even home. Like it's my first taping of my TV show. <laughs> this jerk isn't even greeting me. Right. And he's standing around the corner with a, around the corner of my hallway with a bouquet of flowers and a card addressed to Oprah Cassisari. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so, oh, thanks. <laughs> Up next, ever wonder how movie stars do all those crazy action stunts safely? Well, I headed to Austin, Texas to a place called Stunt Ranch to learn more. Yes, that's me running from an explosion. More out of my adventures when Celebrity Corner returns.
That's what I'm talking about. Welcome back to Celebrity Corner. That was a heart-stopping clip from the movie White House Down starring Jamie Foxx and Channing Tatum. It's jam-packed with dangerous stunts and special effects, which brings me to a little adventure I had in Austin, Texas at a place called Stunt Ranch. Take a look. I just got to Austin, Texas, Stunt Ranch. I'm in for a lot of surprises today. I know I'm gonna be doing something with explosives, something with fire, something with guns. I mean, I love action movies, and today I'm gonna to find out how they are made. Well, how are you? Welcome to Stunt Ranch. Steve Wolf, the owner of Stunt Ranch, you said that you have people attend Stunt Ranch from all over the country, all over the world. They all come here to learn pyrotechnics and to learn how to do movie stunts and special effects. They learn how to blow things up how to blow them up and how to look good doing it. When we met, you told me a little bit about working with some really big stars. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, I've gotten to work with folks like Tom Cruise. Never heard of Tom him. Tom Hanks. Never, uh, never heard Gene of him. Gene Hackman. Tell me about uh, working with Tom Cruise. I learned so much from him. He shows up first thing in the morning, bright and early, ready to work, knows his lines, very prepared for whatever he has to do that day. He gets it done. Other people might say he did a good job, but if he doesn't think he did the best he can, he goes and he does it again. Did you tell me that he does a lot of his own stunts? He likes to do it himself, he likes to feel the action, and he likes to do the preparation. There's actually really a lot of education and skill and knowledge behind it. You're not just kind of, you know, lighting lighting a match and throwing it. And you have a book also, right? The Secret Science Behind Movie Stunts and Special Effects. Yes. Now that book is really geared more towards kids and teaching them how things are done? It is. You know, science is what's going to allow kids to solve the problems of the future, but if they don't get into science, uh, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Well, I guess I'm going to have to follow in Tom Cruise's footsteps because I'm not relying on a stunt double today. I'm doing everything myself. We're going to keep you safe. We're going to make you look good. All right, let's do it. All right. <laughs> Is that really an ambulance? Oh my gosh. If I can't get up the staircase, then we're in big trouble. This is really high. Um, my heart's beating a little bit fast. It's like the adrenaline, but but I'm ready. Okay, so Tony, Tony's gonna catch me. If Tony doesn't catch me, am I gonna go straight into that tree? Oh my god! It was, it was so much fun. It was way higher than it looks from the from you know the ground. I sure like that. Um, and it goes way faster. Yeah. I kept thinking, oh my gosh, I'm heading straight for the tree. Straight for the tree. If but at any point you're heading anywhere other than towards the tree, something really went wrong. No. <laughs> Come on, I got something else. To All right, you. awesome. Okay. I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Hopefully the, the jump will be easier than the climb. This is what it looks like from up here. All right, ready? Okay. All right, I'm ready. All right, action. <laughs> that was that was my my you know caution jump. Now it's gonna be my movie star action hero okay, jump. Okay, let's see what you got. <laughs> action! Hold it really tight. I made it snow in Texas. Gently press the trigger without moving the gun. We get shots right in the target. We're going to be learning today on a SIG model P239, which is a 40 caliber pistol. This hand goes all the way up. We push with this hand, but we pull back with this hand. So look through the rear sight yep. at the front sight. Gently press the trigger straight back in your hand without disturbing the sight. Extend this arm. Very nice. Oh my god! What? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Focus is on the front sight. Got it. Very nice. This is a 223 rifle.
What an unforgettable experience and definitely the best ab workout I've ever had. If you want more info on Stunt Ranch, visit worth the trip. It was actually my first time in Austin, Texas, and it probably ranks as my second favorite city after, of course, New York. Well, Philly's in there, too. My sister and I even threw on some cowboy hats and took in a real Texas rodeo where we actually watched three-year-old kids ride sheep, yes, sheep, among other crazy fascinating things we saw, like bull riding. I mean, it kind of reminded me of being at the circus as a kid here in Philly, but just very different. <laughs> when Celebrity Corner returns, extreme cosmetic surgery procedures. A vampire facial? Kim Kardashian had one. You'll never believe what others are doing to look star perfect. Plus, wait till you see what I'm getting done just in time for my wedding. I've never touched the money maker, but that changes tonight. How crazy does this sound? A gruesome vampire facial, painful leg lengthening, and a surgery to combat obesity, which makes fat toes thin. Believe it or not, these are becoming sought after cosmetic surgery procedures. And here with me today to discuss this and more is New York City plastic surgeon, Dr. Eric Sade. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for inviting me. So you have an office up in New York and you have treated many, many celebrities. Can you tell us who? We can't divulge that. I'm <laughs> no sorry. No one's listening. No one's even listening. I know. Dorothy. But you, you have a private entrance actually at your practice, which is really cool. Yes, we do. So they can do it under the radar. Correct. So, okay, some of the things that we're going to talk about today, you know, celebrities in Hollywood, they can get kind of crazy with their plastic surgery, and so can many people as well. So some things that we're going to talk about today are not necessarily things that you do, but we're going to get your take on it. So a lot of women, you know, look at their thighs and they go right for the liposuction. Very, very common procedure, something that you perform, correct? Absolutely. Okay. So, um, um, now there's a new obsession of the of the body where women think that their toes are too fat. It's a condition known as toe obesity. So Julianne Moore, I mean, she's absolutely gorgeous, but something happened to her on this red carpet. Either she needs to get this particular surgery, <laughs> or she needs to fire her stylist. I don't know which one it is. But um, you know, what about this surgery? Why would you maybe not recommend you know thinning people's toes down? Well, again, the foot is a very functional part of our body, and uh, to do unnecessary surgery there is obviously not advisable. Looking at that photograph, it looks as if she needs one, one of the toes shortened, actually. Well, that's something also, help, right? Right, which might help it fit into the uh, open toe shoe she was wearing. But the reality is that whenever you do surgery on the toes, you get a lot of scarring, you can have a lot of swelling, and you can have chronic pain. And quite the, toe honestly, is so, the foot is so sensitive, It's right? very, very, very sensitive, Ouch. and it's always being used. I mean, I love shoes, I love high heels, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I would actually go through surgery in order to make my feet fit into them. That seems like, I don't know, I think I would probably just go out and buy some kind of Dr. Scholl's, you know, pad or to make them more comfortable or something like that. Right, well, you can do that, you know, <laughs> I mean, obviously, it depends on... You know, your concerns. Yeah. And I do agree with you for the most part. Okay. Now, what about women who look at these supermodels like Giselle Bündchen, for mm. example, and they see these long, beautiful legs? So some people out there are actually going through this procedure, which costs a reported $85,000 called right. leg lengthening. Right. Okay. Now, tell me a little bit about this, because this is really painful, and also there can be a lot of complications. Right. Well, well, this was originally invented, obviously, to help uh, people with dwarfism or if they were born with very asymmetric lower extremities. Now it, the indications are being stretched into the cosmetic world. Ouch. And again, this is a very, very, very complicated procedure. It should only be performed in a hospital under very, very sterile conditions. It involves breaking the long bones of your legs. Oh. It involves putting metal hardware inside. It involves distraction of those bones over a period of months. That could make going through an airport security pretty tough, it putting could that metal be hardware doing in there. Anything pretty yeah. tough. It's a very, very, very complicated procedure. It has a lot of risks. And again, it's something that I would strongly advise against. Well, there's actually a doctor in Florida that has done 650 of these. What, what is it about these doctors? Are they chasing the cash or they just don't have any ethics? I mean, what are your thoughts? I, I just think that there's, if there's a market out there, someone's going to fill it. And uh, what you really want to do is you want to find those surgeons who have the right qualifications right. and the right uh, hospital affiliations and uh, 
do your own research also. Now let's touch on another procedure, which actually is not as extreme and controversial, this right. vampire facial. Right. We saw these photos of Kim Kardashian with blood spattered all over her face, her own blood, mm -hmm. and this uh, procedure costs between $1,500 and $2,500, and uh, this actually maybe has some benefits. You're basically taking blood, how does it work? You're, tell me quickly. Right, well essentially you're drawing some blood out, right. and then you're centrifuging it, so you're separating out the red blood cells and the white blood cells from the plasma. And then what you have, essentially, you have this product of your own blood, which has fibrin in it, and it also has these platelets, which have a lot of growth factors. So oh, the idea I is, see. right, the idea being that you re-inject your, your own tissue back into your face, and over time, not only will it act as a volumizer, but it will also enhance angiogenesis, which means the creation of new blood vessels Ooh. in the areas it's injected, and also it'll produce new collagen within the skin, so hopefully your skin will tighten as well. So once you wipe all that blood off your face, then right. you might have a nicer complexion. Okay, now let's talk about um, some of the things that you offer. So sure. you have something very interesting on your website, sedaysurgery.com, and that is a bridal registry. So instead of getting you know, your girlfriend uh, pots and pans that mm -hmm. she's probably never gonna use, I mean, Absolutely. I don't use mine, you, know, you can get her um, you know, lip injections or whatever it is that she might want in time for her wedding. I, I love this idea because women oftentimes realize that they might want to get a little something here or there for the wedding. And speaking of, I'm actually getting married in three months and just recently I got my, thank you, <laughs> I got my engagement photos back. Um, mm -hmm. And while I loved my photos, I want you to take a look. So this is one um, by the very talented Dale Benfield. And I love this photo because it captures a moment, but Oh, my eyes, I just, I look at how scrunched up they are and how bad the crow's feet are, right. and I just think to myself, my wedding is such an important day, I don't want all of my photos to look like that. Right. And the thing about me is that, you know, I've been doing TV for six years and I've never once touched my face, or the money maker as my dad calls it, um, and which is rare, right? Absolutely. I mean, I know a lot of my peers have gotten, you know, lip plumpers and all sorts of different things, but I think, you know, I've talked about Botox f for so many years about how celebrities use it, and I think it might be time just to explore it. What do you think? Why not? I've done Botox on women as, as young as 20 years old. Okay. And again, if you do it in a very precise way, in a very uh, conservative way, you're not going to overshoot. All right. You want the normal muscles to relax, you don't want to freeze them. Well, let's get started. In your field. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, but I know that if there's if it's too much, uh, I can always, you know, my, I mean, my wedding's in three months, so it has some time to kind of wear off, right? Right, absolutely. Okay. And so, if you need a little more, you can always come back and get a little touch. Okay, so touch I have up. some time. Um, now, is this going to hurt? Not very much. Okay. Okay, what we're, what we're gonna do very simply is just wipe your skin with a little bit of alcohol. Okay, so we're gonna get all the makeup off. Right. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit this really, really straight. This is not a really big deal. Straight. Okay. Really relax. All just right. Gonna, actually, I'm gonna dab it. Okay, I'm instead very, of rubbing, okay? I'm very relaxed. And in this area, okay. around the eyes, what we try to do is put it subcutaneous. Okay. okay? So we're not actually going okay. into the muscle. All right. We're just going right above the muscle, okay? <gasps> okay, all right. So I'm gonna stretch the skin a little okay. bit. I try to identify where the, the uh, blood vessels are. And then I just put it in. Oh, ow. Okay, that's little, not too bad. Okay, a little that's not wheel. too bad. Oh my gosh, it actually doesn't really feel as bad as I thought it was going to. I don't it. want to talk. Okay, and all right. And that's it. That's wow. one. <laughs> That's <laughs> one spot we give, and that's, that's, I the, did it. <laughs> uh, that's the main area where you need. Okay, great. I think, well, on a lateral orbit. You're going to finish me up after the show. Okay. When Celebrity Corner returns, I'm talking to reality star Melissa Gorga of Real Housewives of New Jersey and rapper 50 Cent. Oh. Welcome back to Celebrity Corner. So you saw me get Botox for the first time, and I gotta be honest, it really didn't hurt as much as I thought it would, and I have a very, very low pain tolerance. Speaking of Botox, you know those Real Housewives all love their Botox, and just recently at an event in New York City, I caught up with Melissa Gorga of the Real Housewives of New Jersey, and rapper 50 Cent was there too. They doled out some advice on marriage, parenting, and more. Take a look. 
the show for you. Looking back, are you so glad that you did it, or are some of the negatives, did they kind of take away from that? What's, what's kind of your thought? Um, you know what, there's, there's good and bad with, with everything. It is what it is, but um, we've had so many positives, so many negatives. I get to write a book, I love Italian style, that's insane that I'm even getting to write that book. So my music has been such a positive with it, and of course, good and bad with everything, and we just put it all out there. So. Your book is coming out in September, September right? September, yeah. And it's called Love Italian Style. Yeah. So you talk all about the marriage and the secrets to your marriage. So what's your number one tip? My number one tip, I don't know. You know what? There's so many, but definitely if you treat your husband like like he's the king, then you in fact will be the queen of your house. And I think people need to understand that. They need to take their pride and put it away because it is about, you know, when you make your man be the king, you will be the queen. And I firmly believe that. I like that advice a lot. Um, yeah. Some people tend to think and a lot of sex. You know, men are happy when they have sex. Well, they of are. course, it is, it is. I mean, they they want it. They're visual. They want to see you look good. You still have to shave your pits when you get married. You still have to shave your legs. It, it is what it is. Um, now, you're your dad, and there's always been kind of this ongoing story about you and Kanye West. Are you feuding? Are you not feuding? You said no. There's no feud. Um, he's gonna be a dad soon. What what would your advice be for him? I don't have any advice for him. I just. That, that's something that you, uh, I guess you experience it. You learn it as you're actually going. There's no portion of your actual life. You can, not a statement, I don't think there's one thing that could help you. you know, so, so many different things. Just enjoy it. And try to you know, keep people away from you. Because once they come in, they don't go out. Well, that was a real behind the scenes peek uh, of a red carpet event in New York City. Lots of chaos, lots of noise, photographers. It was a little tough to understand 50 Cent during the interview. And part of the reason I want to share with you is that in the year 2000, he was actually shot nine times outside his grandmother's house, once in the jaw, leaving him with somewhat of a slur that actually, and this is really interesting, gave him a different sound that helped him become a rap rapper. Talk about silver lining crazy. I promised at the top of the show that I would tell you how you can win a free bottle of Zoya nail polish in the color that I'm wearing today called Rocky, pretty blue. The first 200 viewers that visit Zoya.com backslash Celebrity Corner and enter this week's secret code will receive their very own bottle straight to their doorstep. And this week's secret code is GLAM. Again, that website is Zoya.com backslash Celebrity Corner. Thank you so much to Joss and Maine for my glam set. I'll see you next Thursday at 7.30 p.m. right here on WMCN. And check out my website for more info on our show. And also check me out on Twitter, at DorothyOnTV, and on Facebook, facebook.com backslash DorothyOnTV. Next week, we have some really fantastic guests. We're going to be sitting down with Patty Stanger from Millionaire Matchmaker. And it's an interview that you definitely do not want to miss. Have a wonderful, safe, happy 4th of July.